Hello and welcome to another Revit tutorial. As you can see from the window that I have up right now, we're going to be doing another video on Enscape 2.0. This one's going to be covering graphic visualization and exporting renders from Enscape. So I have Enscape up right now. I've got a pretty neat little view that I'd like to render out, but I want to change some of the graphic settings. So let's go ahead and get started. I will open Revit and up at the top, this Enscape tab, you'll notice near the right side we have a button that says Settings. Go ahead and click that to get your Settings dialog box open. And I'm going to pull up Enscape on one side of the screen and I'm also going to have Revit up at the same time so you can see as we change these settings how it affects your view over here in Enscape. So first off I have everything set to a default. Um, this is just out of the box, vanilla, Enscape, how all of your settings will will look. If I want to change, there are a couple different modes. There's a white mode, which is kind of a sketchy mode here. It'll allow you to add outlines so that you can give a little bit of depth there to your scene. You have polystyrol mode, which is kind of like white mode. Uh, it's allegedly supposed to make things look like they're built out of foam core. I don't quite see it, but you can play around with that one. There's a light view, which is really awesome. You can see how all the light in your space is hitting each surface. And I may have covered this in another video, but to change where your sun, I've just pressed H on the keyboard for these uh, tool tips down at the bottom. To change where your sun is hitting, simply hold shift and right click click and drag. It's over here on the right side of this menu bar. So I'm holding shift, I'll right click and drag to the left. You can see the sun path move. I drag to the right, it moves the opposite way. You get a nice little chart over here about how many, how much lux hitting your surface. Um, so that's pretty neat. I'll turn that off. Uh, same thing works no matter which, which view you're in, holding that shift and right click to drag the time of day just to get it where you want it to go. Um, Auto exposure, I typically keep this checked, but you can uncheck it, crank up the exposure, make it really dim. Um, one helpful tip for all of these sliders, if you can't remember exactly where you had left it by default, instead of having to reset with these buttons down here, you can simply double click on that tab and it'll reset that slider exactly where it was before you changed anything. I find myself doing that constantly, actually. There's also two-point perspective right here. If you check that, it can be really advantageous for a still view, but you may notice some distortion as you look vertically and over. It gets a little bit warped, so be careful checking that if you're recording a walkthrough, uh, which we'll cover in another video in the future. So for this mode, let's say I have everything set up, but I want to save this, save these view settings. I want to do white mode, a little bit of outline, and I like my auto exposure. I want to click my rendering quality to ultra. And I want to save these settings so I can use them on multiple projects. Up at the top of this Enscape settings dialog box, there's a little, uh, I don't know if kids these days know what this is, but this is a floppy disk. And it's the universal symbol for save. So I'll click that and it'll say custom settings. If I click this drop down, you have a pencil here to rename. I'm going to call this white mode outlines ultra hit that green check and it will save that to the list from there I can uncheck white mode uh, maybe I want to keep the outlines I want to change the quality to high I can and if you hover over it'll tell you what each one of these buttons will do I'll click that floppy disk again save as a new setting and then on this drop down I can then edit it again to say outlines, normal, um, high quality. And just save it something that I can remember. That way, as I'm cycling through these, you can just select which mode you want on the list and it will update all the settings that you saved all at once. It's pretty useful when you go in and, and change a whole bunch of stuff. When you change contrast, um, color, temperature, that kind of thing. There are a ton of little sliders in here built into this extremely smart camera that is Enscape. The last one that I want to go in depth on is Capture. So when you click Screenshot, you're essentially capturing that scene from 
Enscape directly to the file that you're exporting. So under the Capture tab, it'll tell you what properties are set up for the screenshot you're about to take. As far as resolution, you can capture just the resolution of the window on your actual monitor. You can set it to be uh, 1080p quality. You can make a 4K rendering if you want. I'll go ahead and pick 4K just for this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and close settings. The place that you're going to want to screenshot is right here. Screenshot to file, which is different than screenshot as rendering. What screenshot as rendering does is it saves that view, that screenshot under your Revit renders um, in, in, in Revit. Screenshot to file will let you save it to a specific folder. So let's go ahead and change the proportion of this window. I want to make it full screen. Um, I wish it had a rule of thirds overlay. Would be nice. Uh, maybe in the future. We can always crop it after the fact. So I kind of like this view. I have that window up. Let's go back to Revit. And at the top on the Enscape tab, simply click Screenshot to File. I'll save this one to my desktop. And I will call this one, uh, I don't know, Atrium 1. And hit Save. If you take a look at Enscape, it is exporting a 4K resolution rendering right now in seconds. It'll vary based on your computer. This one's pretty quick. But overall, I've found that Enscape is very quick um, with rendering these uh, images. So it's saved on my desktop. Go ahead and double click, open that, and you can see just zooming in what kind of quality you can pull from Enscape. And I mean, all of this is taken directly from your from your Revit model. Pretty crisp with the outlines. Uh, but that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, please take a, take a closer look in your projects at uh, all of those different settings and sliders. In the settings dialog box, there's a lot you can do here. And don't forget, if you ever get caught, just double click to reset that slider. Save. Uh, yep. Save your views as you set them up. And uh, hopefully you'll be making beautiful renders in no time. So that's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment if there's other things that you'd like to see Enscape to do. And uh, maybe I'll make a video on those in the future. But I hope you enjoyed. And good luck rendering. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.